My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Wizard's Lizard. That's very difficult to say with any... Oh, okay, so there's a character select screen that I didn't know about. That's a werewolf. It's a man. That's Mr. T. That appears to be... A circle? And that's Raga. So the name of the player character appears to be Raga. So we did unlock a blueprint last time. And yes, it does look like there is a purchasable abacus down here. No clue what it fucking does. Oh well, I suppose. Uh, that sounds a lot like a personal problem. Does it not? Defeat death. Don't mind if I do, game. Do not mind if I do. In order to conquer fear, you must first defeat fear itself. Don't ask who that was an impression of. It wasn't an impression of anyone. Just, just trying to be Bane. Didn't work out. Oh, we've got another chance to get Sir Arthur's Lance before we leave our first level. Which, if you know anything about how I've previously played this game, you know I'm going to leap upon the opportunity. This is so badass. And it's got huge range as well. You know, Sir Arthur was known for having a very long range. Mariah Carey length of range. Plus a huge dong. Alright, so we're going to continue on. Seeing if we can find a pentagram room here. So I'll be able to revive myself after I go into the ghost fugue state. Uh, in order to retrieve that Lance Armstrong. Uh, at least bats don't suck. Dire bats. No a fucking green goblin. Norman Osborn as bitch. Can deal with those. Yep. God damn, you get so slow on those. It's very frustrating. Those always seem to hold gold, so always gonna blow those things up. Yep. She's a man eater. I know I do that every single time I see those things, but they're called man-eaters! It's too easy. It's too easy. It's like when you present someone with a really easy that's what she said joke, and you're almost disappointed when they don't capitalize on it. Oh, okay, so one more room over is going to be exiting the level, which means... It's time for me to ghostify. By which I mean throw myself upon a dagger. And become a little bit mostly ghostly. Finding a lot of gold. I wonder if I can actually afford anything in the shop that I completely disregarded so callously earlier. I suppose I can try. Okay, now I'm dead. <clears throat> oh, right. Yeah, hang on. 50 gold back there. That could. Oh, sh you shit fuck. Block my progress backwards. That could be very important in the long run. And just because I don't know what's in that shop and how much it costs, I will farm these things. If you are wondering why I've killed myself, I would refer you to episode one of this series in which I discovered that there is a very specific room that seems to spawn very often. Uh, oh shit! Fucking flying skull! Shit! Okay, so they take four hits. And they just seem to go in a set pattern. Okay, so they're not actually very threatening. There seems to be a room... On, uh, the first floor, which can give you a weapon that's really good, or that seems really good. It looks really cool, okay, that's why. So, you know. Shut up. 
It's fine. I'm only wasting my own time. Well, I suppose I'm wasting your time as well if you're watching. <clears throat> Which I suppose is as good a time as any for me to thank you for allowing me to waste your time. Uh, I'll leave that orange there just in case I need to come back and recuperate my health. So now I should have all of the possible gold that is available on this level. What is for sale? Oh, dude, new totem. Earth totem. What's it do? Let's find out. Oh, dude, it shoots earth. All right, so it seems to shoot rocks that bounce around the room. That's all right. It shoots them downwards, so I always want to place it at the top of the room. That's something to note. Uh, also, Arthur's Lance. That's the thing we found. Look at that shit. Longest range ever, right? Um, I will quickly show you the item description for it, so that you can see with me. Let's sing along, folks. Not much is known about this mysterious item. Yes, absolutely nothing. Crushes enemy with rocks. And increases... Increases? Increases totem duration for the Shaman Tunic, I believe that was the item. Uh, no, I'm missing no health. <clears throat> okay. I like the art style, and the game is very responsive, so... It's definitely worth having a look at, uh, especially if you are watching this video before the 24th of Ju uh, June, then this game, I believe, should still be in its release sale on Steam. So I think it's $9.98 USD. It at the very least, in the Australian market for me, Australian. Um, it's $9.98 USD right now, because it is on sale, celebrating release of the game on Steam. I think the original price is, uh, $15. And for that price, it's definitely worth a look at. Okay, Soul Orb. Yes, let's get back to life, baby. Hang on. No. I want to explore this level first. Reason being, I have full health right now. What if I go to a different room, I kill everything and a lot of health drops, then I can go back to the pentagram room, I can revive myself, and then I can go pick up the health. So I'm a healthy living being. Ah, and on top of that, I can collect Slime Key. Yes. Oh, that's why doors weren't opening. I want that! I want that! Give me that. Alright, I need to purchase that blueprint. All previous goals have been completely forgotten. Now, the only thing that is important to me is getting enough money to purchase that motherfucking blueprint. Damn, I need that shit in my life. It's so important to me right now. Oh, so it doesn't only shoot downwards. It was just bouncing off the things. Oh. Plus, it doesn't matter that I'm taking damage, because I think if I revive myself with five health, I'll still be fine. Okay, so there's food. Maybe I have to get the food, not the blueprint. Battle Mage Plate. Let's check out what that's actually doing for me. Increases soul power. No. No, I, I bought a totem, and I want that totem- Oh, shit! No, don't hit the fucking thing! You crazed madman, Ryan! What are you doing? No! Ah! Ryan takes no responsibility for the actions of the past two minutes. Let's play again. God. Oh. Alright. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, 
Let's get Sir Arthur's lance as quickly as we possible. Ooh, that's a compass. That's a oh, that's a lightning sword, like the one in Hercules. Hercules, the PS1 get ah uh, yeah, totally is one. Cool. I'll come back to that and do all that shit when I'm a fucking ghost man. It's go. Don't worry about it. I've got it in mind. I'll come back. Every single one of those sentences was a different accent, and all of them were bad. Okay. Can we just agree that the last room that I got in my previous run was just absolute bullshit and stupid? Spike Lantern. Oh, dude, now I cast light around me. Yeah, man. I wonder if it does damage to things that hit me. Increases attack, decreases speed, modifies personal lighting. I'm uh, okay with that. Decrease speed for increased attack. I don't tend to dodge as much as I stand there and beat the shit out of whatever's trying to fight me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! I don't even know what- who says that? Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Nah, can't remember. It's probably... Someone. I don't know, I can't remember. Is it Batman? Doesn't sound like a Batman thing to say. But it's definitely gruff enough. Okay. Um, no, this is not leaving the level. Okay. Right, leaving this room would be leaving the level. Do not hit the owl. The owl is danger. Yeah! I kind of wanted to blow up the bat as well, but it's fine. Bat's not actually a danger. Come on! Alright, kill the owls with the... Yeah, totally got him! Nice. Good work, Brian. Very proud of you. Um, I will continue to farm gold again. I don't know, or I do not recall, what was in the shopkeeper's shop. Keep, uh, shut. So, therefore, just in case I get enough money for whatever he holds in store, I am going to farm the shit out of the level. Uh, it also looks like this is going to be the ideal room in which I murder myself. Okay, so let's get that done. I'm not sure if this is actually strategy, if this is what I should be doing uh, with the whole murdering myself to get uh, the lance thing, but I'll tell you what I do know. Looks badass as fuck. This is so fucking metal to kill yourself to get a lance from a goddamn dead town folk man in a graveyard. I make no apologies for that. God damn metals, fuck, dude. Damn right, Jontra. Alright. So if something in the shop costs 6.5k, guess who's gonna be laughing? Yeah, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. <laughs> do I have anything in the head slot yet? I do not. Let's see what the dungeon compass does for me. Reveals location of important rooms. Cool. Glad I have that for this floor in which I have already explored every single possible room and the non-important ones. Of course. Hang on. Joff, Matt and Joshua are here. So it doesn't have like an important headstone. So I guess I don't need to kill the rest of these, but I'm 
totally going to. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, I'm gonna murder zombies all day! Oh, get a fuck on. Yeah. Did I already pick up the health? I totally did. Ah, uh, damn it. I want that shit right now. That lightning sword. Unfortunately, it does not appear that that is a reality that I can make true. Make come true. A reality that I can bring into fruition. My diction is failing me of recent. As I may have noted in a bunch of videos, very similar, very similar, very close to the release of this one. I'm incredibly sick right now. Horribly ailed. I'll spare you the details of the illness. It's just, uh... Horribly debilitating and crippling. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Um... Oh, okay, so that's how it works. So, blue pint room. It looks like all br 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 Looks like all blueprints appear to cost around the price point of 5,000 gold. So, what I'm going to be doing is aiming to get 5,000 gold before I enter the... The fuck is... Alright. Time to dodge like a ninja. No. Yeah. Okay, I already have a shaman helm. Thanks for the second shaman helm, shaman. Helm? Shaman? <laughs> Shaman it wasn't a different helm! <laughs> yeah, um, I'm pretty disappointed in myself with that one as well. Don't worry, no need to write me a letter. Alright, looks like the pentagram room is over there. Hang on, I will check the pentagram room just in case... ...there's gold in any of these things. There totally was. Therefore, I'm justified. But secondly... Again, I'm going to explore the rest of the level before I come back to the pentagram room, because ideally and optimally, that will allow me to have the largest amount of benefit from coming back to life. Oh, and slime key. Totally forgot about the slime key, but the slime key is a very important thing to remember, because it's a mysterious item. No one knows really much about it. Again, I present to you the best room in the game. It just makes me happy that it exists. Sometimes I not at night and I just think about this room and I smile. Just to myself. No one needs to know. It's just a little bit of a smile. Blueprint for the Ring of Dexterity. Don't worry, I know it's pronounced dexterity. Doing it for a joke. It's a dumb joke. Alright. Um, looks like there's at least three more rooms. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hang on. Is the boss on this level or the next level? I think this is level two. So the boss is on the next level, right? Right? It must be. Because I've gotten to level three before and I haven't killed the boss before. Alright, just stand here, hold this down for a while. Oh, sorry, I was looking away. Did it finally die? Dear Lord. Oh, come on. Sniping ass bat. No, nope, fuck you, goblin. Trying to kill the thing like it wants me to. Oh, nope, that's it now. Oh, dude. That owl is totally trapped. Bam. Oh, shit. Okay, so it looks like when I aggro the great owl that all owls in the room come for me. I don't know what they were saying, but they totally came for me. All 
Right. Uh, hang on, we've got all of the gold that we required, do we not? Yes, we totally do. Uh, okay. So at this point, I'm just gonna go back and fucking get the... the port pentagram man. Because... I don't think I'm gonna survive the next room. So I would be... Uh, well advised... To hedge my bets. Get the... Fucking oh shit! Don't those move very quickly. There is little to no room for error. Yep, twelve health. So it looks like it's constant, uh, consistent. Sorry, the amount of health it brings you back with. Yeah, got this fucking lads. You have no, no clue whatsoever how proud I am that I figured that out. Oh, love it. Dear Lord. Why did you write Royals? Okay, I actually seem to be in a really good position in terms of this room. As long as I don't kill that Great Owl. At a time that is non-opportune for myself. Yeah! He's totally dead. Scale of 1 to 10, he's totally dead. I am farming these on the off chance that they drop health. Because, uh... I'm not sure if you're aware, but health seems to be a little bit of an issue for us at this point. We have 12 of it. I would like 50 fucking thousand. Uh, unfortunately, the limit is 50, so I'll take 50. Looks like Cemetery 3. Alright. So what is our goal? Um, I guess get to the shopkeeper and hope that he has gear that will save our lives. It looks like we don't use our soul orbs enough. Fuck, I've forgotten what key the soul orbs are on. Okay, so they're totally on Z. Right. Cool. That's settled. Uh, I'm not gonna buy a new weapon. Do I already have that lantern? Yeah, I totally have a lantern. Charm of Totemic Reach. Increases totem radius. Ah, I suppose. I'm not gonna argue with it, but... I'm just not certain it was the most beneficial thing that could have been offered to me. Oh, shit, that's a fucking goblin. Yeah! Pro MLG plays! See, that's why I destroy all of the fucking thi you You saw the juicy motherfucking shit that came out of that. I keep thinking that I'm almost dead, but then I remember, hang on, I still have my ghost state. Anyhow, that's why I keep destroying the lightum, uh, lightum totem poles. Lighting poles. Because one of them just gave me about 2,000 gold. Uh, okay, so that's the signifier for the boss room, it looks like. Oh, okay. Right, needed to destroy that first. Haha, <laughs> it gets a blood particle effect on it to show that it's drawn first blood. They drew first blood. Yeah, that's that's my Rambo impression. Yeah. Just so you know the kind of mastership of impressions you're working with here. Uh. 
Placing down a totem sounds a lot like the same effect from, uh, Braid, where you jump off of, uh, the body, body, the thing. The thing? You, you bounce off of the guy with the head. You know what I'm talking about if you prayed Braid. Prayed Braid. If you have played Braid. What? You fucking twat, bitch. Damn! Alright, so it looks like there are mimics. Chests that are not chests, but in fact, are ruses. Monster manual. Very nice. Uh, I do need like a pentagram room or something of sort. Mm, no. Fucking great owl, go die. Oh, you, come on. Can I? Yes, I totally defeated this room without taking any damage whatsoever. Can I get a round of applause? No? Alright, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so now we can actually see the health of that um, pile of bones. Oh, hang on. Oh, fuck. Nothing frustrates me more in games that are supposed to be about responsiveness than them impeding your movement. I'm looking at you. Left for Dead, Binding of Isaac, uh, this game. Yeah, it's, I suppose the ones that. Do oh, L B Splunky. Oh, shit, shit, shit. No, no, fuck. No, don't die, please. No! No! That was a town folk man! I could have rescued him and been the Lord, the King. No, not the Lord, the King. The hero! The damsel in distress? The steed? I would have been one of those things from a fairy tale. Unfortunately, I'm none of them. I got another blueprint and that's about it. I've been Rhapsody, that's been a wizard's lizard. If you've liked the video, feel free to click like. If you dislike the video, feel free to click dislike. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel for more. I've been Rhapsody, that's been wizard lizard. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, and we'll see you next time.